Jordan Henson, welcome back to Jordan Henson Outdoors. This is going to be the first video in a series about beginner waterfowlers. So in this series I'm hoping to teach beginner waterfowlers about waterfowl hunting and what you need and the gear um, and all that fun stuff, you know? So there's going to be a lot of background noise in this video because as you may be able to see here, I'm living on a main road. So there's a lot of cars going by right now. It's about, let's see what time is it? It's 425 right now, you know, so it's everybody's just, just getting off of work, you know, coming home. But in this video, I'm going to talk about decoys, goose decoys in specific. So I'm going to show you the different types of goose decoys, um, like the different styles, I guess I'm just saying, like the different head, head styles, and um, what, when, how you want to set them up in your spread, and like how many you want to have, you know, like how, how many silhouettes you want to have compared to full bodies or socks or shells. So, yeah, that's going to be what this video is going to be based around. Okay, so hopping right into it, we're going to start off with silhouette decoys. These decoys here are the Big Isles X14 graders. Yeah, they run you $86 for 14 of these silhouettes. So they come with sleepers, feeders, as you can see right there, that, feed, that one feeder decoy closest to you, and sentries. Um, there's also a couple other head positions in the pack that I didn't set up because, you know, it takes a no, it doesn't take a while, actually. It's going to get into my next thing about these decoys. But, you know, I just didn't really... It's hot today. Didn't want to set out too many decoys. So, a lot of guys... So, silhouette decoys. They're the new big thing right now. A lot of guys are switching over from full bodies. Right there. They're switching over from, from full body style decoys to silhouette decoys. The reasons for that... The main two main reasons for that are... They're quick and easy to set up. And the detail on them. I mean, as you may be able to tell... The feather detail on these decoys is amazing. I mean, that looks super realistic. It looks like you just slapped some feathers from a bird onto the decoys right there and just, like, glued them down or something. So that's one of the main reasons why a lot of you are just switching over to them. And they're so easy to set up. So these big owls decoys here, um, the stakes are super thin. They stay in the ground good, so you might be able to tell. But the stakes, super thin, comes with two stakes, very durable. But see, I can just stick it right in the ground, right there. That, that's one decoy set up. That took me maybe one to two seconds to set up that decoy. Um, they're nice and easy to store too. You can store a lot of them. They're super lightweight. You can carry a lot of them into the field. Way easier than full bodies. Um, yes, yeah, so that's basically what you need to know about silhouette decoys. I mean, they're fair price. You know, they're actually very fair price. Especially if you're looking into getting into waterfowl hunting. I'd recommend get, just getting a couple dozen silhouettes to start. And then running them as your spread and see how you like goose hunting. So, secondly we're going to get into windsock decoys. Um, these decoys right now, they're not fully expanded, as you might be able to tell. See, fully expanded, they would be about this size, a little bit smaller. That's the full body. But, so these are tangle-free silhouette, or not silhouette, these are tangle-free windsock decoys. They look very good. So, as you can tell, the feather detail is pretty good on them. Um, they come with flocked heads, so they're not going to be shiny. Um, this pack comes, it's a dozen in this pack, I believe. And it's a hundred dollars for this pack exactly. Well, ninety nine ninety nine, of course. So they come with four sentries and eight feeders. So um, I'll explain why they come like that in a minute. You know why they come more feeders than sentries. Um, so next, let's hop into full bodies. These full bodies here are redheads. Um, I bought these a couple years back. As you can tell, the paint's starting to chip on them. Got a little bit of white spots on them, some dirt. But they're, hold, they're holding up pretty good. This is about my second or third season, I believe, that I'm running them. Um, they have flocked heads and painted bodies. So the head's not going to shine. The beak might a little bit. I might be able to tell that there. But um, the big thing with full bodies is, of course, they're big. You know, they make your spread look good. But one of, the, one of the downsides of them is, if you're hunting in high wind conditions, see how this one here, some of them come with just bases, not stakes. So if you're hunting very high wind conditions, the wind can blow that over. And then, as you see, you know, if you blow that over, you know, you don't want a bird seeing that out in your spread. And that's, you know, because no goose lays on its side, obviously. And also, another downside of these is they will get snow on the back. If you're hunting very snowy conditions, the back will get covered with snow, so then you have to walk out. And your spread, you know, take time, maybe flare birds, possibly even, to wipe snow off the back so it doesn't look natural. So, also then, next we're going to move into um, shell decoys. So this right here is a sleeper shell. You can tell it looks like that goose is sleeping. Um, shell decoys are good. You can hide, you hide, put stuff under them, you know, like if you're just laying on the ground, or laying in white, 
you can put your shells under them you can put your phone your camera gear if you're filming your hunt um, these are smaller shells they also come in magnum shells you can buy like tango free has very nice magnum shells um, so they're a lot larger so you, I mean you can put your whole blind bag under them if you really need to which is nice because say you know you're hunting in a smaller blind like the Cabela's mobile elite layout blind where you can't really necessarily fit your blind bag in it if you have a lot of stuff in it, like we do so that's nice to have the magnum shells to put right beside your blind you know it makes you blend in with the decoys and then you put your bag underneath it so your bag's pretty you know right pretty close to you you can get it if you need to um, which is very nice so the most the best decoys if you're, if you're just getting into hunting the best decoys to buy if you want to buy new has to be silhouettes i would guarantee i mean I would say buy silhouettes as your first decoys if you're just getting into it and you don't and you don't want to buy used decoys. A big way, a good way to get into it if you want to buy used decoys is look at, look for someone that's getting out of it. Or look for an outfitter around you, a guide, you know, because a lot of times guides will be sponsored. So, you know, so they get they get new decoys every year, so they have top quality decoys. You know, they look the best. You know, I mean, they might have a little bit of wear and tear on them. But you can touch them up, painted, you know, or just hunt over them like how they are for the first year. So. I mean, I would recommend either doing that, either buying from a guide or someone that's just getting, you know, that's just getting new decoys, or buy or buy new silhouettes. So um, I hope to, if you're, I hope if you're getting into waterfowl and goose hunting, you know, I hope you learn from this video, and hopefully you learn from the video from the rest of the videos in this series. Thank you so much for watching. Um, the next video should be posted in, in a couple of days here to a week. Yep. So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.